Hello, my name is Joshua Brown from the expert interview training company, howtobecome.com. And in this presentation, I will teach you how to pass your SOC analyst job interview. So if you have an interview coming up for any SOC analyst job role worldwide, then please make sure you watch this video from start to finish because I promise to help you stand out and succeed. To achieve that goal, I'll start off by giving you a list of SOC analyst interview questions that I strongly recommend you prepare for. I'll then provide you with example high scoring answers to those questions to ensure you succeed at the first attempt. Plus, I'll also make sure to give you some essential tips for passing your SOC analyst interview before finally telling you how you can instantly download these slides plus 30 great answers to SOC analyst interview questions in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I want to help you pass your interview by giving you brilliant answers to the toughest SOC analyst interview questions. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. And please don't forget to hit that like button because this tells me you find these tutorials useful. Okay, let's dive straight into the tutorial. The first question you should be preparing for is tell me about yourself. And this question is vital to get right. Why is it being asked? Well, the interviewer wants to understand your professional background, your key skills and your motivations and also gauge how you will fit into their team. Make sure you study that job description. That job description is your blueprint for success. And I'll tell you why. In your answer, focus on your relevant experience, your key achievements and what excites you about the role. Make it personal and confident but concise and make sure you do this. Connect your skills directly to what the organisation needs. What do they need? Well, that is on that job description. That job description that they've put up online that you've applied from is your blueprint for success. If they put on that job description, for example, they're seeking someone who is analytical with great communication abilities, then throughout your SOC analyst interview answers, be sure to say those exact terms and back it up with examples of where you've previously demonstrated those skills and qualities. Let me now give you a powerful top scoring answer that's gonna make you the standout candidate in your interview to that question, tell me about yourself. Thank you for inviting me to interview for this position today. I'm a passionate SOC analyst with a strong background in cybersecurity and a real drive for protecting organizations from evolving threats. My journey began with and then insert a relevant degree or certification, such as a degree in computer science and certifications like CompTIA Security Plus, which gave me a solid foundation in threat analysis, instant response and network defense. In my most recent role at, and then insert the company, I was responsible for monitoring and analyzing security events where I, and then insert a key achievement, such as I identified and mitigated a significant phishing campaign, preventing potential data breaches. I'm experienced with tools like, and then insert those tools, such as Splunk, Wireshark, or IDS, and I enjoy diving into complex challenges to find solutions. What sets me apart is my proactive approach to cybersecurity. I'm always looking to stay ahead of threats by continuously improving processes and learning new technologies. I'm excited about this role because it aligns with my passion for staying one step ahead of attackers and contributing to a strong security culture. Wow, what a powerful way to kickstart your interview and be the standout candidate. Remember, by giving a confident answer like this to that opening interview question, not only will you impress the hiring manager, but you'll also gain confidence in the rest of your answers to come. Let's now move on to the next SOC analyst job interview question. Explain the difference between a vulnerability, a threat and a risk. So why is this question being asked? Well, the interviewer wants to assess your understanding of foundational security concepts and your ability to communicate them clearly. So in your answer, use simple real world examples to show you not only understand the terms, but you also know how to apply them in practical scenarios. Here is a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. Explain the difference between a vulnerability, a threat and a risk. A vulnerability is basically a weakness or a flaw in a system, like unpatched software or weak passwords that someone could exploit. A threat, on the other hand, is what might exploit that vulnerability, like malware, hackers or even an insider looking to cause harm. Risk ties the two together. It's about the likelihood of that threat exploiting the vulnerability 
and what the impact would be if it did. For example, if an organization is running outdated software, the vulnerability, and there's malware out there targeting that software, the threat, the risk would depend on how critical the system is and what's in place to stop the threat. Understanding the difference is important because it helps prioritize what to fix first. In my experience, it's about focusing on what's most likely to happen and what could cause the most damage so you can allocate resources where they'll have the biggest impact. Now don't go anywhere as I still have plenty more SOC analyst interview questions and answers to give you in this video. But when you're ready and only if you want to, you can click that link in the top right hand corner or in the pinned comment below the video. It will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can download my top 30 SOC analyst interview questions and answers to give you the edge in your interview. You can click that link at any time during this video. Okay, let's move on to the next SOC analyst job interview question, which is, how would you handle a phishing incident reported by an employee? This question is being asked because it tests your technical knowledge, your incident response skills, and how you interact with colleagues during security events. Make sure you walk through the process calmly and logically when giving your answer, emphasizing both technical actions and communication. Show that you understand how to contain the threat and prevent future incidents. Here is a brilliant top scoring answer to help you. How would you handle a phishing incident reported by an employee? If an employee reported a phishing incident, the first thing I'd do is stay calm and thank them for flagging it. It's important they feel encouraged to report potential threats. Next, I'd collect all the details, like the email or link they received, and isolate the system if they'd clicked on anything suspicious to prevent further spread. Then, I'd analyze the email to confirm whether it's truly a phishing attempt, checking for things like malicious links or attachments. If it's a confirmed incident, I'd escalate it as necessary, follow the organization's instant response procedures, and ensure the email is blocked or removed from other inboxes. I'd also check if any sensitive data was accessed or compromised. Finally, I'd use it as a learning opportunity, providing feedback to the employee and updating training materials or awareness campaigns if needed. For me, handling phishing isn't just about responding to the immediate threat, but also building resilience to prevent future incidents. Okay, let's take a look at a really tricky question now. Can you tell me about a time when you successfully detected and mitigated a security threat? Now, this question is being asked because the interviewer wants to evaluate your hands-on experience with threat detection and your ability to respond effectively under pressure. And that's where many people struggle. How should you answer a question like this? Now, this question is what we call a behavioral style interview question, a question where you're required to draw on your prior work experiences. So how do you answer these type of questions? Well, a great way is to structure your answer using the STAR method, S-T-A-R-R. -R. Now, the STAR method is a brilliant way to structure your answer to score top marks, and it stands for this. S is for situation. So you start off by describing what was the situation you found yourself in. You then move on to T for task. Describe what was the task that needed to be carried out. A is for action. What action did you take to achieve the task? You then go on to result. What was the end result following your actions? Make sure it's always a positive end result. And the final R is for reflection. What did you learn from this experience? So let's now take a look at a brilliant top scoring answer to that question using the star structure. Here is the question. Can you tell me about the time when you successfully detected and mitigated a security threat? In my previous role as a SOC analyst, I was monitoring our SIEM system when I noticed unusual logging attempts from an international location that didn't align with our organization's typical activity patterns. The logging attempts were targeting multiple high-privileged accounts. My responsibility was to investigate the anomaly, determine if it posed a genuine threat, and take appropriate action to mitigate any potential risks to the organization's network and data. I immediately analyzed the logs to gather more context, such as the IP addresses, geolocation, and frequency of attempts. I cross-referenced this data with our threat intelligence feeds and discovered the IPs were linked to a known malicious actor. I quickly escalated the incident to the incident response team. 
implemented a temporary block on the suspicious IP range and initiated a password reset for the affected accounts. I also conducted a thorough review of the affected accounts activity to ensure no unauthorized access had occurred. My swift actions prevented the attackers from gaining access to the network. The incident was contained without any data breaches or system downtime. Following this, I recommended additional security measures such as geolocation-based access restrictions, which were implemented to strengthen our defenses. This experience reinforced the importance of vigilance, leveraging threat intelligence, and acting quickly to prevent potential breaches. It also highlighted the value of robust instant response protocols. So, in preparation for your SOC analyst interview, I also recommend you prepare answers to the following questions. How do you prioritize alerts in a SOC environment? What are your salary expectations? How do you ensure accuracy and thoroughness in your work? Where do you see yourself in five years? What are the common protocols you monitor in a SOC and why? Can you tell me about the time when you were put under pressure and how did you cope with the pressure? How do you distinguish between a false positive and a real security threat? Can you walk us through the steps of how you'd respond to an incident? What do you find most challenging about cybersecurity? Why do you want to work as a SOC analyst? So they are just some of the questions that you should be preparing for. But if you want to get the full list of all 30 SOC analyst interview questions, and if you want to accelerate your learning even further to pass your interview at the first attempt, click that link in the top hand corner right now of this video or in the pinned comment below for two reasons. The first reason is it will take you through to my website, howtobecome.com, where you can get all of these answers we just covered, plus a total of 30 brilliant responses to SOC analyst interview questions in a PDF guide. And secondly, the next reason is, I've given you plenty of interview tips and advice for your SOC analyst interview on that page. It's a brilliant resource, guaranteed to help you prepare effectively for your interview, and also more importantly, put your head off the competition. Make sure you check out that link. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe as I'm on a mission to help as many people as possible pass their job interviews. And I can only do that if you are subscribed. Please also hit that like button as that encourages me to make more videos just like these. And if you have any questions regarding any specific job role, do let me know in the comment section below where I'll get back to you with even more interview tips and advice. And finally, don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I've put my LinkedIn link in the description below. It's always great to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best with your interview. Have a brilliant day.